Hey guys, so wipe the camera lens real quick. I am at Shakespeare Festival here in Montgomery, Alabama. And as you can see, it is super beautiful. It's a beautiful day. And there's duckies right there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my car off and walk around. I left my windows down. I also brought my jump rope. Ooh, can you see it? Well, whatever. At first, I was kind of skeptical about walking around out here because it is almost 1030, meaning the sun's almost in full swing, but we've got a slight breeze right now, so it doesn't feel too hot. The sun is definitely out though. So this thing right here is just a little bridge. And what I realized just now is that I feel like the bridge is kind of mimicking a medieval type of feel. I always just looked at this bridge and just said oh that's just the bridge but this looks like a stone fortress like you know one of those moats a moat and you know after all this place is called Shakespeare Festival um, so here we have the inside of the little bridge And we can overlook here and there are so many turtles. It's almost quite disgusting. Like, I mean, one or two turtles are nice, but once you have... Like, once you have a floor layer of turtles, it's disturbing in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. Turtles are not supposed to be in abundance. I don't know. I just don't like it. I think it's because they're just all so slow moving and just like slow moving things should not be clustered together. just smattered smattering the water what do you guys think anyways moving along from the sea of turtles it feels really nice in here though back out to the heat So we're out of the bridge and we've got as you can see the park is very expansive and I meant to cross the street here to get on the path
so Shakespeare Theater is a, um, I guess you could call it a sightseeing site in Montgomery. It's a point of interest. That's a good way to put it. It's a point of interest here in Montgomery. And it is, Shakespeare Festival is a park, as you can see, a walking park. It is a museum, which is right over there, an art museum. And it is a theater, which is down yonder that way. The theater plays, live plays, ranging from Little Mermaid to, you know, that played last year, I think. Um, or maybe even early this year it played. But it plays, plays, you know, like live plays. I have been there like one time, and that was so many years ago. I've been to the museum probably maybe two or three times. And I just, I've been to the walking park quite a few times. I do like this park. The only thing, the only limitation to this park is that, as you can see, it is quite an expansive treeless terrain. And the only trees you have are like lining the, the walking trail. And the trees don't even give you any shade as you're walking. So, that's the one drawback to this park, is that you're limited to coming to it when it's not too hot, which either limits you to the morning, early morning, evening, or a day like this where you have the sun out, but you still got clouds out to temper the heat or you've got a slight breeze. And so we've got both today, even though the sun's out, it's covered by clouds a little bit and there's a slight breeze. So it sounds like the lawn mowing people are out. I just hate when like the lawn mowers are going and I'm out somewhere enjoying the park. It's like, why are you guys out right now when I'm out? That happened to me recently but I forgot where I was. But that's just me being persnickety. <sighs> persnickety. So here's another feature of the park that I'm just now realizing is of medieval influence. It is, you know, just a little architectural feature. 
and straight ahead you'll see the museum. Pretty awesome. And straight ahead here you'll see more of the park. So today I'm having a good day. I woke up and I had breakfast. Texted my dad a little bit. Things are great. My mom was out at her doctor's appointment to get her treatment. And that was kind of a weird experience. Do you ever like wake up and think somebody's there, but they're not there. That happens to me a lot. And it's something that I'm trying to, I wanna make it a point to try to not have that happen. Like to not just assume somebody's there but continue your life as if they're not there. Because you can't just wait around for somebody else to make the first move or to dictate how your life's gonna go or have your life based on somebody else because they very well could not be there one day. So it looks extra beautiful right now, honestly. Look how green the grass is and how blue the sky is. You can't even paint a picture that compares. Vid video comes pretty close though. So we've got bodies of water here, duckies. We're getting closer to the museum. Got people out here getting fit. enduring the heat I know wherever I move to, I want it to have a lot of parks, walking trails, things of that nature. Because here in Montgomery, there's this walking park, there's the AUM, which is Auburn University Montgomery walking trail. There is this place called Lagoon Park, Lagoon Park Trail, which is creepy. I've tried multiple times to go to that park and walk, and it's just eerie. It's in the woods, and it always just seems deserted, but yet there's like one or two people there which makes it even more suspect. Like one or two cars there, parked. I don't know, it just gives me a bad feeling. So I'll just, I've driven up there two times and I have not got, I've just turned right around and not gotten out of my car. But who knows, maybe that's just me making things up. I may give it a try. But, so that's another park. Then, as you guys saw, it's not really a park, but the Jasmine Hill Gardens Park in Wetumpka, which is kind of like a little city right beside Montgomery. I went to that garden. It's not really a park. It's not big enough. It's just a garden. I went to that one. 
few weeks ago. What other parks are there? There's this call this park called Bamboo Forest Park and that again is not really a park because it's so small. And that park is just very creepy and I went there one time with a friend and I was like I would not be able to be here if you weren't here because I don't like swampy areas that it's like one thing that disturbs me along with turtles covering the floor of a body of water swamps disturb me and so that place is just a big swamp, but it's surrounded by bamboo. So you have like this big body of water in the middle and then a trail going around it and then bamboo surrounding the trail. And so you're just walking around this huge swamp water, swamp water. It's really, swamps just freak me out. And I know that's like the whole cliche, like scary side of scary movies and swamp monsters and stuff like that. But now I really understand, you know, there's something just weird about trees sticking up out of water and then like the water being covered by some mossy stuff and you can't see what's under the water. So it's kind of like this mass of liquid. But you wouldn't even know there's liquid under there. So it's dangerous too. Because you can step on the mossiness covering the water and then fall deep in, deep, deep, deep in to the water. And then you come up and stick your head out of the mossiness. And there's a tree a creepy tree stub right in front of your face. And then you're trying to swim and swim and swim and get all the mossiness and icky gunk. Ew, from around you that's been sitting there for weeks. And you don't know what's under the water. You can't see in the water. There could be anything under there because the moss is covering it. So... I don't know. That's my rationale for thinking swamps are scary. So right now I'm headed to the Shakespeare Theater. One thing that's cool about the Shakespeare Theater are the bathrooms that are outside. And there's also like this little garden area Ooh, it feels so good in the shade. Ah, oh, it feels great. That's what life is. Okay, we've got more duckies. So the duckies are enjoying the shade also. I don't know if you can see them. Or if I'm like even focusing on them. They're somewhere in there. The duckies. There's duckies at the apartment complex that we're staying at also. Geese. There's actually yesterday, I, or either yesterday or the day before, I saw this beautiful white swan. Like that was the first time I had ever seen a white bird. Duck duck-like bird which I assumed was a swan because its neck was long and curved and it was so white and there was no other even close to white ducks around that I had seen ever before so you just had one mama swan
ourselves a patch of shade again. So here's, you can see the theater over there. Another body of water. You guys watch the news. I watch it because my mom watches it sometimes. So there's that whole Charlottesville issue. summer. I was organizing my closet last night and I saw all my bathing suits and I'm like what a waste. I have three one pieces that I have not gotten to work to wear yet. I have two I think just two 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 pieces. One of which I've worn a lot, and the other one of which I have not gotten to wear yet. And the funny thing is, we have a pool in the apartment complex that we stay in. So maybe one day, I'll just go out there and chill. So we're on the straightaway to the Shakespeare Theater. Some things I like to do are, as you can see, walk around outside. I also like to go on explorations and excursions to places, whether it be an outdoor location such as a park, or whether it be an indoor location, or, you know, just a point of interest. I like doing that. Another thing I like doing is writing. I write a lot. It's kind of one of those things where I just can't help but do it. It's just something I do. And it makes me feel better afterwards. Another thing I like doing is, which I've recently started picking back up, is coloring and painting. I do that at night. Another thing I like doing is experimenting in the kitchen. As you've seen from my previous videos, I enjoy crafting homemade hygiene beauty products. And I enjoy cooking small culinary creations. So, keyword small. I am not a cook. So, my expertise areas are sides, dips, 
smoothies. You know, I don't even know if I can even say my expertise area is a side because that counts as like real food. So I'll just limit it down to dips such as hummus, guacamole, salsa, I've, salsa, things like that, and smoothies. I'd say smoothies are my number one area. But I haven't been making smoothies a lot lately. Oh, oh, we're by the we're here at the museum, and I didn't even introduce you. So here we are at the Shakespeare Museum, and I'm about to show you the cool bathrooms and the garden. So yeah, I like that. I like. Well, I'll continue that subject after we after I introduce you to the bathroom. So here we are. This is the women's bathroom. It's very dark in here and it smells like wood. And that's another thing about this park. I love this park because they upkeep the bathrooms. You would think that a park with an outdoor bathroom would be just a mess, but this bathroom <laughs> smells, smells and looks better than a lot of indoor bathrooms at places so here we are and as you can see it's got the medieval feel look at the roof which I don't know if that's really medieval but anyways okay and then I'm not even gonna show you the toilet because that's not the park's fault that's a trifling person's fault but look at the sink it's wooden or stone and then okay you can't see it so that is the bathroom and then you see the chandelier medieval chandelier and the medieval gates so that's awesome and so now we will enter into the garden entering and here we go here is the garden amazing Well guys, I think I'm going to leave you here. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy your day. Until next time.